the big fangs, some of them could justify their existence um, quite readily, just be give, given their sort of their uh, the, the continuing ROE growth because of their earnings growth, um, and because they are in the perfect space for the sort of work at home moment that we live in. But price to sales of nine to ten times, Facebook is a good example. That's akin to some microsystems in OO. You know, uh, give me 10 years of your revenues as your current price. I don't care if they are growing at 30 to 40 percent a year. That, that's a little bit too rich for anyone's uh, uh, taste buds, I suspect. And there's a lot of stocks, and it's not actually necessarily the fangs, but a lot of the slightly smaller, more excitable ones that are on 20, 30, 40 times price to sales. And Tesla was on 30 times price to sales. I'm sure it's a fantastic car company. Sorry, it's a tech stock. But the fact of the matter is that that's a nuts price. So, no, Karen, there are massive similarities with the bubble in 2000, um, with people believing that the we're never going back into an office, we're all going to work from home for eternity, and everything is going digital on, on the line. And I, I don't think that's true, but it goes back to the idea that until we can see some kind of normalization of, of economic activity in, in a more traditional sense, um, I think you're still going to struggle to see a, a switch away. However, the speculative bubble in those is so substantial, but I think the more seasoned investors of all types, professional and non-professional, whatever that phrase actually means, are probably more wary um, of, of the higher end valuations in tech. And that there are other places you can go. And if you want to take your gamble at this point, your better gamble would probably be to start looking at some of the bombed out stuff. Um, where one assumes the world does normalize and that a pandemic, as they always do, does, does actually end at some point. And I think there is that material recognition that you know it's not just a one-stop shop in, in the sort of work from home digital in, uh, interrupters that everyone is currently favoring.